This is an exclusive preview of my newly launched Plasticity Industrial Product Design course. In the first part, you will learn how to break every design down into its shapes and forms. And in the second part of this tutorial, you will learn how to model those shapes and forms in Plasticity. And if you're interested in the full course, always first link in the description, you'll find all of the information. And right now, let's start with our amazing tutorial. All right, so let's start with this amazing glue pistol design sketch from Adrian Mankovicki. And before we start here to work in plasticity, let's jump into Photoshop. And I just want to show you what we will do in which order. And yeah, so you just have a broad overview over the next modules. And as always, when you practice and when you have a reference, like we have here. <laughs> it's very important, especially that you in the beginning just look at it first and try to understand the, the main basic forms and shapes without looking at any details because a lot of beginners, they, they create model something, but, and then stuff it fully with details, but then it doesn't look good because the main form is bad. And that's why I've picked this glue pistol because this glue pistol, in my opinion, is one of the most, like literally one of the most beautifully designed design <laughs> sketch I've seen. I, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff, but this is, it looks so simple, but this is the whole beauty because Again, a lot of beginners, they, they think more helps more and more detailed or it will look better. It will look more professional, more complicated, more complex. Wrong. Like as Apple or as, um, the main designer from Brown says less, but better. This, the same with Apple, you know, their, their, their iPhone, their iOS, it's just very, very simple. So the same here with the design. You don't have a lot of detail, but those details that you have, they are very well thought and there's really thought put into it, you know. But the most important thing is here, the main forms, the main shapes, the main aesthetics. So we will start with this piece here. So with this piece, right? So this is kind of this main form and it has here some rounding, right? And then it just goes here down. So we have this kind of, yeah, cylinder or something. Then we will cut this piece out and do some chamfers and all that stuff. Then we will continue either with this part. So you see, it's again, just a very blocky thing here. And then at the end, we will create this um, handle and connect it here and connect it here. And you see that's basically it. And then you have obviously a lot of details like this hole, um, those really cool cuts here, this cut, and you see, that's it. That's literally basically it. So you have three main forms. So one of the top, one handle and one bottom part. And yeah, that's basically it. And then you have some cuts and some chamfers like here. But you will see, it looks very simple maybe, but you can't <laughs> create something like that, but basic boolean techniques or something. This is really advanced and you will see it's not that easy to recreate. So absolutely, so absolutely, especially this part. So um, in general, connect, connecting in such a smooth way, um, different forms like the top piece, the handle and the bottom. So here you see everything is like super smooth and also here, those cuts you will see will be really, um, yeah, complex and advanced. And also this cut, because if we zoom in, you see we have 
you see the surface goes here and then it makes here a little, yeah, it goes a little bit inside and then the chamfer starts. So, so yeah, really good practice. And I just love the simplicity because when you see such a design like that, and in my opinion, it's, it's really, really beautiful and <coughs> aesthetically pleasing. Then you know, okay, I have to practice that because I know it won't be that easy. Because when you just type in on, on, on art station and, and okay, I don't want to show from, from other people what they're doing bad, but just, I don't know, like weapon or some product designer that's just stuffed with tons of details, but the main form are just a cylinder or just some Boolean quartz or something and just looks super boring, you know? So that's why always when you practice take really beautiful designs which are also simple and try to recreate them and learn to understand the main forms the main shapes because once you have the main shapes and main forms and they look good you can put afterward as much this um like design elements and cuts and booleans as you want but the main form has to be right so yeah, I guess you get my message and let's basically start with this awesome piece. All right, so let's delete here our cube, go to the front view and port append as always our design. So something like that, maybe just scale that a little bit up and as always just bring this a little bit back so it's not disturbing us and also here disable selection and viewport and press M, put it to the front and make it a little bit opaque with like 0.35 or something. And yeah, so let's begin with this main form and yeah, we will create as, <laughs> as you will see in all of the following as you will see in basically every drill, industrial design of, of, of this kind of stuff, we will create some lofts and create the main form and then start to cut everything away. And yeah, you will see that's really a lot of fun. So let's start here with the spline curve. And just uh, maybe let's go to the background, press M and just make it a little bit brighter. And here, just start with the spline. And just follow here this, this very, very main shape. So it's really something like that. And now just go points mode and just adjust it. So really just follow this very, very outer uh, edge, outer form, outer shape. And yeah, always spend some time and make it as good looking as possible. So yeah, that looks good. So you see we have one curve. And now, because if you see here, so we have obviously this rounding at the top, right? And here, so it's, we just have one perspective and it looks like it goes and gets a little bit straight. So maybe it goes a little bit inside again. I'm not sure because yeah, we just have this perspective, but we have this form. So we need to create one more curve here at the bottom. So let me see. Um, so let me explain. So if we go now then and change the view here to, to the left, and if we paint it again, so we have to create something like that, right? So this form. And because we put this curve way below this object, so this object will be somewhere here, we will cut it somewhere here. So this, this part here will be this part on the top. And then you see it's straight here and this we will cut. So this is the side view if this is a little bit confusing for you, but 
yeah, let's just model and that will make everything sense. So now we have to, yeah, create kind of this uh, rounding. And I like to do it, yeah, if we go to the left view with shift F or here control point curve, control point curve. And let's snap it just first at this one point. And now we have to drag that here in the binormal Y. So in the tangent. So it's tangent when we will mirror it over. And just put randomly somewhere a point for now. And now also go to this last point, press shift. So you get a lot of construction lines and we go to the left view and we need this one. We will snap to it and we will go to the point. So those two points will be also tangent. And now we can adjust the curve a little bit. And here just go left and right. And yeah, this point, yeah, so something like that. And here we just have to really play a little bit around and see what shape and form we will get. Now maybe make it a little bit. So yeah, it's a try and error. And also here I see we missed that point. So go point mode and select both of them. Press G and V and put it to this point. So if we press G again, you see we are moving those two points just from this point where the pivot is. So press control and just snap it to this point and press OK. And you see everything is nice and connected. So let's do this back part. And maybe let's bring this point so it's basically on the same height. So also again, shift F or control point curve and click here on that end. And now first drag that out on the binormal Y. So it's like 90 degrees. So let's go here to the back and again, just create randomly this point in the middle. And again, go to this point, shift. So we have a lot of construction lines and we need this one. So snap it to Y and snap it to this point. And you see everything is nice and aligned. And so now let's align those points a little bit. And this one again, just on the left and right. So only on the Y axis, we can adjust. So we still have the tangency. And also, yeah, let's bring this point also a little bit here. So we get something like that. And that looks already pretty good, I think. So yeah, we have to see. And let's also again, control F point curve, because if we would loft it now, so if you loft those curves and press L and then shift those ones here. So yeah, it's, um, you see here on the side, it's very straight, right? But we want, if we check out this here, you see this has a little bit of a rounding. So let's add this rounding to shift F control point curve, snap here to the middle of the curve and to the middle of the curve here right click and now we need to subdivide this curve so shift s shift s and those two points if you go to the top view we can with g just bring a little bit outward so i don't want to do here too crazy stuff here you see just a little bit just to add a little bit of volume so now what we want to do is we want to select only those two curves here and press e and extrude them a little bit because we will do this because the surface that we will build here. So let me show you just a second. So kind of this one, we want to bring it on the other side. So mirror it, right? But here you see, so if we would just mirror that over without those helping uh, lines. So I figured that workflow out. So if you select this and Alt X and bring it to the other side, press OK. And if you hide this curve, you see you have a very unbeautiful scene. So we need here tangency curvature. So if you purchase my surface modeling fundamentals course, then yeah, you know that already everything because we go very in depth into that. So if we go back a little bit, 
we can now hide those two curves or let's put them into our first group. So control G and this group we will call building curves. So all those curves like here we see now we will put into BC building curves and we will just disable that in viewport. So they are still there. We don't want to delete them because we might, might want to use them, but we stay organized. And also below uh, this course module, you will find the PDF with all the short explanations of the folders and what they are doing. And yeah, so I found it for me personally, it's the best workflow to, to stay organized and to work kind of parametric <laughs> with the history without having a history and parametric modeling. But yeah, it's uh, taken with a grain of salt. Yeah, so basically select this curve now, this or this edge, because this edge has um, continuity because we have here 90 degree surface. This curve shift and this edge again and loft it and now add those guiding lines. And you see, we get a very cool surface and we don't need this helping surfaces anymore. And let's select all of those curves and put them into our BC building curves group. So if we need them, we can just here activate it. And yeah, so I think that looks very good. So we can go here to the front and now we have this main form. So now we can start to cut everything away and rebuild it and all that kind of stuff. So let's start. So this surface that we just built will be this one here, which I'm painting now blue. So this is our surface. So you see, we have a lot of stuff to go uh, to do. First of all, so this will be a cut. We also have to cut it here. And also we have to cut it here so we can rebuild those chamfers here and those chamfers. So those are not chamfers. I just call them chamfers. We do them like, like always manually. So yeah, let's do everything step by step and let's start with creating a line shift A and follow this shape here. Very roughly, we will adjust the points and take this curve and just drag it out and adjust the points a little bit and just follow that beautiful shape here. So something like that. And now select those points and give them a nice little fillet. That looks great. And now we can cut here our surface. So press C and cut our surface, press OK. And we don't need the surface, so you can delete it. You see, so we just have this piece. And yeah, I think that looks very good. But again, it's to get maybe the 100% exact shape you, you, you would have to, yeah, try it a little bit around and play, but you will see this, this looks already pretty good. And yeah, this course is to show you the workflows and techniques. So yeah, you can create, recreate your own projects. So look, this curve here, we cut it, it, the surface, right? So this is not a building curve, but a, if we press control G, this curve, we, curves, we will call CC, cutting curves again in the PDF. Below the module, you will find all of those explanations and again, disable that. So you will see at the end, we will have like hundreds of curves and yeah, we will stay really organized. And let's do the same here for this top hole. So again, create a line and just follow this shape. And yeah, I just like to bring this line here to the front and go with points mode, press one and adjust again those points here and give them a fillet. And this one also nice fillet. And again, C, cut this body, delete this sheet here at the top. And this curve is a cutting curve. So just put it into our group 
And look guys, that looks really beautiful. And now let's start to add this chamfers. And yeah, I really have a, I have a really beautiful workflow for that. So I will show you really crazy command here in plasticity. So we can take this face here and if we search for F, so we press F and search for untrim, bam. We get, I don't know how it's possible, but, but we get from, from, from this surface, this original surface back. And what we can do now, because here you see it's always the same kind of the same distance and it follows. So this chamfer follows this original form, right? Or surface transition. So we can basically take this surface here, the new one, so select the face and we can offset that a little bit inside. And if we go here to the round view and press shift while we are dragging, we can, so make it as, so offset that till it ends here at this connection point. And at this one, so yeah, it's not 100% exact, but you will see that will work really, really good. So if you press OK, you basically, yeah, it doesn't make sense for you now. So it will make sense if we create that cut. So let it as is right now, because we can cut now here this piece out. Yeah, I'm a little bit wonky with a painting and drawing here. And then we will, so if we cut this big surface at this point, we will have kind of our chamfer because then we can loft this edge with this yellow one. And if we loft it with G0, you will see we will get exactly that shape and this shape will follow perfectly around. And this is what we want, but yeah, it's a little bit maybe hard to understand. So. Just follow along and that will make sense. But yeah, I explain it as good as I can. So now again, shift A and we have to cut this time this form. So again, create it very roughly and G bring this to the front and adjust those points again. So spend some time and try to get the shape as correctly as possible. So yeah, that looks good. And now again, select those points and give them a nice little fillet. Maybe this point I want a little bit more here. And yeah, give it a fillet here and give it a fillet here. That looks great. And see, Cut this surface, right click and directly put this curve into CC into cutting curves. And we don't need this surface anymore. And maybe you see already what we are getting. So now we can select with shift all of those edges here and those ones. And if we love them now, press L. And we have G1 continuity, so tangency we don't want. So press tap and tap. So it's G0. Press OK. And we can delete now this inner surface because we just needed the edge. So delete it. And guys, you see, we get exactly what we want. And it's just beautiful. It's, it's the perfect angle. And yeah, it's just, I don't know, this workflow. Never you, no one uses this on, on YouTube. So yeah, so now you can join those both surfaces and that looks really beautiful. And we can basically do the same here at the top because it's mostly the same process. So again, select this surface, F untrim, get the original surface, select the face of this and um, just extrude this a little bit. But here you see um, on the right, it's very thin and on the left, it's longer one. And you see it also doesn't match up here. 
So what we can do now, if we press OK, so here again, it's we have really to guess, um, but yeah, it will work out pretty fine. So now if we select this whole main surface and press R, we can just rotate that a little bit and try to adjust it. So something like that. Because also we rotated it here on the right, you will see because this surface gets closer to this surface, it will be here a little bit shorter the distance. And here it will be a little bit longer because we rotated it counterclockwise, you know. So yeah, again, let's cut this whole surface. So yeah, it's not perfectly matching, but it's again, it's, it's just, you have to align and experiment and, and go forwards and backwards, but this will be absolutely fine here for now. And again, create our nice uh, cut here and select the points again. It's a little bit hard to see, but this is fine here. Yeah, something like that. And again, C, cut this surface, delete this big piece, put this curve into CC. And you see already we get what we want, but like the inverted way. So select kind of again those edges with shift and loft them. Press tap, tap, so it's G0. And oh man, it's so beautiful. Press OK, delete the surface. And look guys, we get exactly as what we want. And look, the beautiful thing is if we join those surfaces and press Alt X and mirror that over and press Shift E, so shift E is my command for show edges. So if you press F toggle here, viewport toggle edges, but it's again in the PDF. Look how beautiful that is. We have beautiful surface and yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's just so much fun and it's, and you see already how much, like how exact you have to work to get those seemingly simple shapes right. But now it just looks good because the main form just looks good, you know. And now you can put all of the details and all that stuff and this will make it a good design. So we could now, so let's close those holes here for now. If we select those edges and shift D, so we duplicate it. And if we go here to the right view, if we press E for extrude and F because we want to close it here. So if you just snap it somewhere and drag that out, you see we can extrude the surface in the direction where we extrude it. So if you E extrude and F here, that's the most, most important command is for freestyle. So snap it here and drag that out a little bit. So something like that. You see it's close, but now we just have to cut it. So create one big line and yeah, put it maybe a little bit somewhere here. So we can just always use it. So if you go to the right and this line, we press C, we can cut the surface. And now we can cut this extra surface here and this extra curve. And again, if we select both surfaces, press J, bam, we have a beautiful connection. And yeah, at the very end, we will do the cylindrical shapes, but yeah. So let's do the same for the bottom. Select those edges here and shift D to duplicate. Go to the right view, press E for extrude. And again, you see you can't extrude it in our Y direction. So press F, snap it somewhere here and just extrude it here on, in the Y direction. Press OK. L use this line C to cut the surface. Press OK. And just delete this extra surface and this extra curve. And we have our closed kind of body. So yeah, this is the main form, main shape. Guys, when you later after this course, if you will then practice your own projects, 
it's don't please don't think okay I, I i got that image here or i like that and now i'm doing the course and i'm just showing to you and i know exactly what to do from the first time <laughs> definitely not um all of those drill designs from the course so i, I will explain it in every module but i practice that three four five times even some Till I got the, the the right workflow and technique that I can share with you here on, on the course. But now I'm showing it to you, I don't know, in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, how to do that. But the first time it took me hours to get this main form, main shape right till I got this perfect workflows. So why I'm telling you that, don't um, be frustrated if you go then later on your own project and you don't get it right <laughs> in, in, in the first try or first 10 minutes or something, you just have to. So I will show you the absolute best workflows and techniques in this course here. So they will help you a lot. And when you work on your own projects, come back and rewatch it, redo it, repractice that and and try to implement them in in those the, in your own projects that you want to replicate, you know. And sometimes it just takes some time and some frustration and some breaks. But if you don't give up, and this is the most important thing, ninety five percent of the people they just they they just give up, you know. Oh no, I I, I couldn't uh, get it. It looks so easy. I don't know. I can't recreate that. Um, I just give up, you know, so don't give up, never give up, you know, ask people, ask in our community, try it on your own, that, that maybe you won't get the perfect shape, this is also not the most important thing, so I mean, I, I show you the perfect techniques and the perfect recreation, because yeah, this is a paid premium course, but also in the beginning, like the first try, I'm just trying to figure out the rough shape, how to connect this main form with the handle and the bottom before I move into all those details and intricacies. So yeah, just again, just a, <laughs> some thoughts on mindset and all that stuff. But yeah. All right. So let's continue here with the bottom part. And then we will do the handle and then connect everything and then add all of those cuts and design elements. And yeah, especially here, those handle cuts, this will be really advanced and you will see I have some really cool techniques for you. And yeah, so basically it's a very, very, very simple process here at the bottom. So I literally figured out four different ways how we could do this. So yeah, I also, before I record the course, I always, as I said, practice at least three, four, five times. And I also practice and just experiment with different workflows to really get the best one. And yeah, there's not really a best one because there are many ways to get the result. But yeah, I, I, I just uh, yeah show you one here. So we will do basically the same. So go front view, create a spline curve. And we will, we just want, so let me, okay, may, maybe paint. So we will create first this shape here. Okay, that looks really wonky here. So we will create this shape here. And you see here again, it has some rounding. And here it looks like almost straight. Maybe it goes a little bit, like a little bit more inside. And then again, we will do, yeah, very, very similar step. So we will take this original surface, extrude that inward, so offset. And then we will cut here this surface out. And you will see it will work beautifully. And then again, we will just loft that. And then connect it here in the middle and all that stuff. Before we create the handle. And then connect that everything. And yeah, this will be very, very interesting. How we can create... Uh, connect that in a beautiful way and not and no it's not just a uh, filleting here at the top at the bottom when you work with surfaces and such complex shapes with just filleting in the normal way doesn't work but this is exactly what we want to learn the how to do it 
like the professional right way. So yeah, basically spline curve and let's create here a spline. And we will first create just this surface. So make it a little bit higher and get here this rounding right. And now we will go here to the top or first of all, shift F control point curve, snap it to the front and we will do the same. We need here a binormal. So we need 90 degree tangency. And now we go to the front view, a uh, top view. And yeah, here we have to guess a little bit around. So we need here this rounding, right? So let me take one point and here one point more and get somewhere like way here. So yeah, it might not make sense, but here you see we are getting something like that and yeah, it's way too long, but we will cut again into the surface that we first have to create um, this shape here. So first of all, and yeah, we don't know how it exactly looks. So we have to guess, but I think this front piece also goes a little bit inside. And yeah, we need here some cool, beautiful rounding. So let's take this point and just adjust those points a little bit till we just get a little bit of a, just a little bit of a better result. So something like, so something maybe like that. And yeah, I also think this bottom piece is a little bit thicker than this piece here at the top. Because also here this connection is a little bit thicker than here at the, at the top. So yeah, let's try. I'm, it's again, it's a lot of, yeah, just trying around and getting the right form and shape. So let's see what we get with this result here. And we need this curve also at the bottom. So we can basically take the same. So shift D and bring this, this down a little bit. And now we have to adjust this whole curve at the same point here. So press G for move and V for pivot and put this pivot at this point. And again, G and just control click. So you see, we can directly snap it here. So that looks, I think, pretty good. So we could now loft that piece here and that, but again, we need here continuity. Right now it has not continuity. So you have to select that curve, press E and just extrude this a little bit. Take this curve, don't delete it, put it into BC, building curves. And now we are set. So select this curve, loft it with this curve and shift here. But also we are missing here a little bit of curvature, you see? So because I also think again, this bottom piece has a little bit of curvature. You can see it here with the lighting. So just press escape and again, just shift F, snap it from this end to this end and shift S, shift S, two points. And now let's go here to the front view, select those two points and just with G, just give it a tiny, tiny little bit here of curvature. And yeah, maybe a tiny bit more. So our surface will have everywhere some curvature. So again, select maybe those two curves or edges, loft it, shift and shift. And you see, we get a beautiful surface, which also has a little bit of a um, curvature. So I like this, delete this surface and curve, curve, so select those curves, put them all into BC. And if we select this here and Alt X and bring it over and Shift E for disabling curves, you see everything looks smooth. This is exactly what we want. So let's go now to the front and do the fun part. So again, create a line and just create this shape here. And this shape is a little bit different. So let's take that curve with G, bring it to the front. So we see it better in the front view. And yeah, so first of all, align 
those points a little bit. So yeah, something like that. You see, this is a little bit not so smooth. And here maybe we see we can give it a little bit of rounding, just a really tiny bit. So select this curve, shift S to subdivide it. And now you can just take this point and just bring this a little bit outside and also a little bit outside this. This will just give it a little bit of a nicer, cooler feel. So select this curve and see and cut the surface, right click and delete this piece. We don't need it. Put this curve into CC cutting curves. And whoops, I forgot um, here to give it some fillet. So just go back. And obviously we need some nice fillet. So select those points and just create some really beautiful fillets to give it some aesthetics. Yeah, here we can guess. And again, C, cut the surface, right click, delete the surface, put this curve here into CC. And look, we have this absolutely beautiful piece. And now the magic part again, select the surface, F, untrim, and we have the original surface back. So really cool. And select the surface and offset this a little bit. And again, we can adjust it a little bit because here on the left and the top, I think it just looks a little bit longer, this uh, chamfer kind of, and here we need this a little bit shorter. So let's just make some micro adjustments. I mean, that would also work already pretty fine, but so select this curve, press R and just rotate this just a very few tiny degrees and also go here to the left and R and also just a few, few tiny uh, degrees here and let's cut it and yeah, I mean, here it's a little bit longer, but you will see this will look absolutely fine. So again, we have to cut it now at this outer piece. So shift A. And maybe we need it here to do it a little bit longer. So just select this edge and just extrude this a little bit. So we just have a little bit place to work with and shift A and again, just create and yeah, also here at the end, you have to extrude this a little bit. So we just have to more place to work with. And again, create a shift A and let's create the shape here very, very, very roughly. Something like that. Maybe bring this point a little bit up. And bring this curve here to the front again. And let's make all of those adjustments. So select those points so or something like that. Yeah, I think this will be, f will be fine. So let's subdivide it. Shift S and again, adjust those points because you see we have some really beautiful rounding all around. So yes. And select those points and give this one a nice juicy fillet. And here as well, that looks really cool. And here as well. So C, cut the surface, delete this outer piece, put this curve into CC, cutting curves. And now the magic part, let's select all of those edges here and connect them with loft. So yeah, everything one by one. L, tap, tap for G0. And you see we are getting what we need. Press OK. Delete this inner surface. And you see we are getting exactly what we want. And maybe we needed to make it a little bit sharper. So just go a few steps back here before you loft it and just select this face here again and just maybe extrude that a little bit more inwards. And just do it again, loft everything. L, tap, tap for G0. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let me see. 
So delete the surface. And yeah, look, we get the exact same shape. And if we select both those surfaces, press J and Alt X and bring it to the other side. And yeah, now yeah, you see we are getting a little bit inward. So just take that line that we have already here on the right view, just bring that down and press SS, make it a little bit bigger. And just, you see, we have a little bit of some stuff looking out. So press C, cut the surface and just cut away this little pieces here. And now if we select the sur surface, Alt X and bring it to the other side, press OK and Shift E. And yeah, here we will fix this in a second. But you see that looks absolutely beautiful and our piece is coming together. So let's have a look. And yeah, guys, I think that looks really beautiful and with the handle and all that stuff. And 